Software 2.0 for S6 has added some terrific features to help your workflow and improve your efficiency. Today we're going to talk about spill zones. For some time now on the S6, we've noticed that there have been two buttons over here, a left spill and a right spill. Now with 2.0 software, these two buttons are functional. And I'll show you how this is going to work. To create spill zones, we simply go into our settings and we go into our surface page. By hitting the configuration button, we're able to see that there's a left spill button and a right spill button. Let's create the left spill button now. Press left spill and now we'll see that all of our faders from left to right, all of the triangle buttons have turned green. So now I'm going to create the left spill from this fader here to this fader here and we'll press done. We have created a left spill zone. Now let's create the right spill zone. Settings, surface page, configure, right spill, all of the buttons now have gone green again. We know we have a left spill zone, so now we'll create a right spill zone from this fader to this, and we'll be done. Now that we've created two spill zones, let's see how we access them and what we use them for. For the left spill zone, simply press left spill, type, and I'm going to select my auxes from my session to now be on the left side of the workstation. I'm going to press the right spill and type and I'll select all of my audio that's in the session to be in the right zone. The cool thing about these spill zones is that they function independently and you can scroll through each one of them without affecting the other. The right spill zone, I'm now going to be scrolling all of my audio and this doesn't affect the left spill zone until I press the left spill again and now I can scroll just the left spill zone without affecting the right. Using two separate assignable spill zones for VCAs, track types, workstations, and layouts allows us to multitask on the S6.